Then let me ask uh, the question to this puppet. Like, sure. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to know if you feel puppetry is in an ascension right now. It's getting more popular on your side. Maybe in Ottawa, you observe something. Yeah. How is it? Uh, those are too big a word for my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him answer. Yeah. Well, Puppetry, I, I, what I find very interesting, let's put him back on the stand here. What I find very interesting is um, people have always, I mean, when I started off in the industry, um, again, 30 years ago, um, again, I was just kind of a kid coming into it. And even back then, people said, oh, well, it's a dying art. Oh, it's, it's not going very as. Yes. But that's not true. There's always some form of puppetry happening somewhere it, it, it's a craft that i think there's always an interest it's always evolving it's always changing it may not necessarily be what it used to be but it's always it always finds its way it always reinvents itself it always becomes something new and i think what i find very interesting is again there's so much interest again in puppets and puppetry there's a lot of puppet production going on now in mainstream television and streaming services and stuff there's lots of stuff happening And it's kind of cool because, again, I was a kid starting out, and now some of the younger generation that I train, they're doing, they're 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 sort of coming up and doing all kinds of cool stuff now too in in the, the grand scheme of the puppetry world, so to speak. So it's always there. It, it uh -huh. just finds. It, it just has. Um, it, it evolves as our media evolves, and especially now with social media and just being online, one of the things that uh, performers, puppeteers have, they have a direct connection to an audience and it's mm -hmm. a global audience. Right? So I think that that's something that's really amazing too. Uh, but it, I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it has its pros and cons, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it does give you, uh, it does give someone access to put product out there, so to speak. Yeah. Totally, and when you have good, good quality puppet like you, you you must have some attention coming towards you with those posts that you make. Oh yeah, well, see, that's that's the other thing too. Is, is like, I mean, yes, I'm I'm very I'm very much into the detail and and design of my puppets, and I like mm -hmm. to have a lot of that kind of stuff go into my characters. But that's not to say that there are some other puppeteers out there who their puppets might be very simple in design. But their character performance is so engaging, um, you can't help but want to watch uh, what they're doing. I mean, uh, I, they haven't done anything in a while, but there's like Glove and Boots. Uh, they do their own puppet stuff. And honestly, I watch it and I'm splitting and got laughing because the, the stuff that they do is just so funny and the characters are great. You know, so you don't necessarily need to have overly complicated characters per se, as long as, again, it comes back to character and performance and uh and connecting with an audience you know so yeah you know. there there you go that's all of this <laughs> connecting that's part of the social media aspect also <laughs> i i want to ask you this question about the future again i want to know where do you see puppetry in 10 years oh <laughs> Somebody asked me that 10 years ago already. Yeah. Um, really, again, like I say, it's it's a it's a skill and it's a craft that is always evolving, and it's evolving with the technology. Like I said, like I, I do a lot of digital animation now, and yeah. so I'm I'm building digital puppets, you know, to do animation. Um, had you asked me 10 years ago what I be doing that, I I was a naive baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I think that there is always, um, uh, it will be there. It will be in there in some way, shape or form, especially, you know, now you're looking at things like you have virtual reality, you have, you know, complete 3D environments that are being created. And, you know, who knows what kinds of characters or creatures or whatever they're going to need somebody to uh, like do motion capture with or actually puppeteer in virtual space with, you know, that, yeah. that's, all, that's all a possibility. Um, and so is it a dying art? No, not in the least. It just is, it's an evolving art and it always has been. 
Yes, that's true. That's true. And and let's bring some some comment from the the audience. We have Julio say thank you for invited talented and inspiring people to continue in this world. So yay, thank you Julio. Matt is a talented puppeteer. So let's bring to the screen. I always ask by the end, if you can bring a friend, you, you oh. show us some friend already, but maybe you have a, a, a special, <laughs> you have many stuff. Let me go bigger, everyone, you could see all of those guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is it, I got one. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is your name, little little uh, I, creature? I, I I don't actually have a name. I'm just a goblin. I'm just a goblin. Uh, hi, goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I love your teeth. Uh, I did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I have a really good dental plan, and um, you know it's uh, yeah. yeah. What do, what do you eat uh, to have oh, such eat? beautiful teeth? Um. Well, pretty much any scraps that fall on the floor, and uh, um, dust bunnies, yeah, pocket lights, yeah. yeah, that crunchy stuff that ends up at the bottom of your shoe, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, you don't have to move a lot, and it's nope. so expressive. Nope. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> To remember me, some some people. I don't know about people who are watching. Everybody, everybody knows somebody really annoying. It's small, so you know you have friends who look like chihuahuas. I'm sure. No offense to chihuahuas. No. Yeah, but what is your material? You're so. Uh, uh, so yeah. he's 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 silicone as well. So he's all nice and super squishy. <laughs> and again, he just has a really simple mechanism in him. So it's just a little push rod that goes up into his head. So he's just a little. Oh. That's all it is. That's all it is. Real, real simple. Wow. Simple. Look at the, those comments. We have like, yeah, Jensu say, nice interview. That's awesome. These creatures are amazing. Thank you. 